TPLL is a research focus of my laboratory and my clinical team has been for the past decade and we have made significant progress understanding the vulnerabilities of this disease because it used to be a disease that has been considered as a chronic lymphocytic leukemia of T-cell type but behaves quite different than the classical CLL of B lineage. The TPLL cell, T cell prolymphocytic leukemia, is an aggressively, rapidly growing, dividing cell that almost behaves like an acute lymphomastic leukemia. There are some indolent precursor phases of the same disease, but overall they all eventually funnel in a stage where they have exponentially rising white blood cell counts and the overall survivor is no longer than 24 months. High clinical need and current standard of care is alemtuzumab uh, as an antibody-based first-line therapy. Inevitably, all patients relapse and we pretty much are stranded with having not very effective options treating these patients that become refractory or relapsing after alemtuzumab. There's one poster here by my colleague Tapan Kadia at the uh, EHA meeting 2022 and they are presenting a yuck inhibitor itacitinib plus alemtuzumab what one can conclude from this study is that also this yuck inhibition by itself with a run-in of about two weeks plus alemtuzumab is not the solution of the overall problem there's encouraging efficacy signals in there especially the contribution of the yuck inhibition towards um, ameliorating general symptoms b symptoms and the drug if effectively makes these patients feel better. However, it doesn't really significantly reduce the clonal expansion. So the biology behind this disease, which is the core of your question, is a, is a cell that has accumulated oxidative damage due, during its evolution and it's resistant towards classical chemotherapies. It also is resistant to the current approaches of single agent antibodies like alemtuzumab to some degree. Alemtuzumab does not lead to complete eradication of the clone and immunological control by an allogeneic stem cell transplantation is also not very long lasting and efficient in the majority of patients. So we are having a problem of a, of a multi-resistant disease. The inherent biological program is that DNA damage responses are aberrant. There's a dual combination of a TCL1 overexpression, anti-apoptotic and T-cell receptor signal enhancing on one side and a deficiency of the apical regulator of DNA damage handling, repair and apoptosis execution. And this diabolic um, molecular duo makes it impossible for the TPLL cell to die and to keep on growing in the context of uh, therapies. We have devised some strategies to overcome this, but that always uh, relies on multi-drug approaches to push this TPLL cell closer towards at the apoptotic threshold. And um, I'm happy to present data on what could be efficacious drug combinations in the clinic in future meetings like this.